What's cool? What's cool? What's happening? I hope you enjoy this new series. Hi, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another. Actually, it's the official first episode of. Does it like those flavors? Yeah, yeah. So, I found this in Morrison's, but the real question is, does it like those flavors? We're about to find out. So, it is a free from, gluten free, and milk free. You get three dark chocolate ice desserts. They are supposedly deliciously creamy, wrapped in smooth dark chocolate. So I'm gonna tell you guys that I have actually already tried this because sometimes when I do these, just like those flavors episodes, I don't like it at first and then after trying a bit more, I do like it or the other way around. By the way, if you're wondering why there's a do-rag on my head, it's because I was cooking and you know when you're cooking you need to cover up your hair because otherwise the whole scent of everything goes in there. It's a cute little do-rag. I'm supposed to wear it here. Uh -huh. That makes it gangster, you know? The closer it is to the eyebrows, the more gangster it is. Okay, anyway, off topic. So, got this thing and it does have soy in there. Now, yeah. That's it really. So, this is what it looks like. I'm, I already know the deal. I'm just gonna tell y'all. So the dark chocolate is really, really dark. But this thing falls apart like within seconds. It's already falling apart, look at that. So, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Mm. It's very dark, like bitter dark. Mm. And the thing inside is like water, man. And if you eat it and it's not like just out of the freezer, mm -mm. I'm trying to do the magnum thing. The thing is crumbling. I just don't know why the filling, the so called creamy thing, it kind of just tastes like water. This ain't it, man. This ain't it. You should try it with some of the other more creamier milks, like oat milk. And I know there's an ice cream coming out very soon with the Oatly brand, and I'm looking forward to trying that one and reviewing it for you guys. But this, I mean, it's nice. It kind of feels healthy. Oh, well, if you don't have it immediately. It will kind of froth up and becomes very strange. I don't like that the filling is tasteless. It does taste of soybeans very mildly, but it's just like very watery. So, does it lack those flavors? Yeah, it's not the best. You know that Magnum has come out with a vegan Magnum, and even has a thing like almonds in it that one is really nice but then again i always i don't really think about myself being lactose intolerant i think about those that have a nut allergy and those that are gluten intolerant those that are soya intolerant so i'm trying to see why can these people come out with stuff that is gonna be okay for everybody i don't know as well as just other stuff i don't know because uh, anyway mm. All I can say is I'm just happy I paid only one pound for this. It was only one pound and that was reduced from two pounds for three of them. And it is so much. It is. It just has no taste and then it is so much on top of everything. I think I just don't like it because it's soy. Usually I don't even have soy because soy actually doesn't go well with my IBS. But... Yeah. On a hot summer's day, I could come from the shop Forget the shop actually, because they say from the shop, the deep freezer there has everything kind of the right temperature to just eat it immediately kind of thing. So it's it's cold, but not cold, cold, cold. Like maybe your deep freezer at home. So let's say I put this in a deep freezer at home. I take it, I walk out into a garden or I walk out outside. Mm -mm. This thing would be melting, falling apart, falling on the street, making a mess. Why? Why is it doing all this? Maybe the chocolate layer needs to be thicker. Anyway, it just needs to bind better. I mean, it's just falling apart, man. Anyway, does it lactose flavors? I would say yes, because I've tried better lactose-free stuff. 
And that was it. Hope to see you on the next episode of Doesn't Like Those Flavors. Yeah. See you next time. God bless. Peace. As always, make sure to hit bomb stump as soon turn that subscribe button and hit the notification bell whilst you're at it. Make time for glorious life. It's time to start living right. See you in the next one. Bye. Also, please be sure to show me some love and follow my new Instagram page called Does It Lactose Flavors? It would mean the world if you followed me. And you get to see all my latest uploads and all the new stuff that I'm gonna try. So stay tuned. Hey, and if not for yourself, maybe you have some lactose intolerant friends that you might want to feed from time to time. Watch my YouTube channel, follow me on my Instagram, and boom, you ain't got to worry about it no more because I'm going to do all the shopping for you and all the tasting for you and all the reviewing for you. So definitely keep an eye out.